Praise God! Welcome back to our channel mga kapatid. For today's video, mayroon po tayong kapatid na bumisita sa ating channel, sa ating studio. Praise the Lord to share with you some encouragement and word of God. Praise God! Hallelujah! Um, to be in God's side is not the best way to live but it is the only way to live mga kapatid. Kaya I really appreciate po sa mga tao na willing mag-share ng salita ng Panginoon. So, Without further ado, let's welcome our sister, Sister Joylin Echigorin Alibado. So let's clap our hands to the Lord. Amen, mga kapatid. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Um, Noong-una po, gusto ko po muna pasalamatan si Brother BJ sa pag-invite sa akin dito sa kanyang YouTube channel para ibahagi ang salita ng ating Diyos. So... Sa pagsimula po mga patid, ipigit po muna natin na ating mga mata at tayo magdasal. The Lord, hallelujah, darayon, ang ginawa may hallelujah. Papataas ka na mo niya ng atak na o Diyos. Salamat to Lord, itigugma nga di rin nagpapapasamay. Thank you for this opportunity you've given me, O God, hallelujah. To share your word, hallelujah, and discover who you are, O God, hallelujah. Bless your people, O Lord, hallelujah. Bisa pa mga mga tao nga namamati nga na may hallelujah. Kino magabitisyo na may halil, magahikap at irang kasigkasing, O Lord, hallelujah. Kino magpunoy, di mapresensya, may hallelujah. Draw us close to you, O God, hallelujah, for the next few minutes, O Lord, hallelujah. Guide us, may hallelujah. Narin kami mahimo, O God, kinuaray, hallelujah. Salamat, O Lord, yung pagkumao kayo, O God, hallelujah. Glory for your name, O Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You can open your Bible with you in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. So ngayon mga kapatid, I would like to share a message with you today entitled, The Season of Waiting. Amen mga kapatid, madali ang paghihintay kung alam natin kung kailan darating o mangyayari ang hinihintay natin. Pero sobrang hirap maghintay kung hindi natin alam kung kailan ito darating o kung walang namang panahon na binigay sa atin kung kailan darating o mangyayari ito. Yung tipong halos walang kasiguraduhan kung may kasagutan pa ba dito. Kaya naman mga patid, I want to tell you that faith is definitely needed in the season of waiting. Faith is needed sa mga panahon ng paghihintay, kagaya ng paghihintay natin sa pagbalik ng ating Panginoon. Hindi natin alam kung anong taon, buwan, o araw ito pwede mangyari. Hallelujah. Kaya naman, we need to strengthen our faith by hearing and hearing of the Word of God and by praying. Mga kapatid, huwag tayo makakalimut ng isan. Don't forget to pray and don't be ashamed to pray. You know what, mga kapatid, one of the great things about prayer is because it's the one thing that is available Everybody at any given time. Kahit sino pwede magdasal. Kahit saan, kahit anong oras. Walang bayad ang magdasal, mga kapatid. At alam mo ba, kapatid, ay kinagagalak ng Diyos na makarinig ng kahit ano wala sa'yo. Do you know that God is never too busy for you? Do you know that God actually knows who you are? That He made you, He made us to converse with Him? Kailangan natin ng Diyos, mga kapatid. We need God every step of the way. In fact, mga kapatid, without God, I wouldn't be here today. Hallelujah. And I believe you are not watching this video right now by accident. God lead you here, mga kapatid. And I'm telling you right now, you need God. You need to tell Him that you need Him. Quit being ashamed about it, kapatid. Hallelujah. Quit worrying about who is looking. You can go somewhere by yourself today, hallelujah. Kneel and talk to the Lord. Tell God that you need some help. Tell God that you're tired of trying to figure things out by yourself. If you need a partner, God is the best partner. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, hallelujah, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, 
and He shall direct their paths. You know, we all suffer, don't we? We all go through things. But the very first thing that we want, we wanted to do when we're suffering, is we want to run. We want to get away from it. We gusto natin takasan ang paghihirap na patid. I don't know what you're going through today, but I want you to know that God knows what you're going through. He knows every little bit of pain that you've got. Hallelujah. He knows every tear that you've cried. Siguro malaming beses ka nang nagtanong sa Kanya kung bakit. Like, why Lord? Bakit? Bakit kailangan mangyari sa akin to? Bakit wala kaming makain? Bakit nawalan ako ng trabaho? Why did my loved one die? Why is this happening to, to my family? So many ways, mga kapatid. But for now, hallelujah, let us set aside all those ways and trust the Lord with all our heart. Many people wanted to know why do we have to endure this? Bakit kailangan natin magtiis? Many people ask God, what's your plan? Bakit may pighati, Lord? In this world, mga kapatid, we will have tribulation and we can't deny that. At ito ang natutunan ko, mga kapatid, in times of tribulation, we just need to change our mindset. You need to recognize that whenever you're in a season of struggle, God is letting you grow. God is preparing. is getting ready to open up the windows in heaven. Hallelujah. And pour out the blessings upon you. So do not lean on your own understanding, kapatid. Trust Him. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and surely, He will make straight your paths. Be patient, kapatid. Let us be patient, because everyone has to wait. Everyone has to endure. Dito ang sinabi ng Diyos on what will happen to you if you do wait. In Isaiah 40, 31, He said, They that wait upon the Lord, those who are patient, He will renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Because when you have the patience to wait upon the Lord, you begin to recognize that His promises are what gives you strength. Amen, Mahapatid. I know that one of the worst feelings is to wait. Especially when it comes to waiting on God. When you prayer to God, Oh, this is happening, hallelujah. May pinagdadasal sa Diyos. And sometimes we're wondering, God, what's taking so long? Bakit ang tagal, Lord? Pinakikinggan mo ba talaga ako? Nakalimutan mo na ba ako? Do you not even care? To the point, hallelujah, na sa kakahintay mo, napagod ka. Because the more you pray, the less you see then you give up. That feeling that you've been praying and praying, yet you've got no word from God. No sign that He's active. No sign that He hears you. No sign that He cares. Hallelujah. And you ask yourself, why God feel silent? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to remind you that not because God feels silent, doesn't mean he's absent. Yeah, there's the saying that a delay is not a denial. In Luke chapter 8 and verse 1, it says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Because God is working. While you're waiting behind the sin, behind the sin is the goodness of God. Hallelujah. The provision of God, the power of God, and the grace of God. He's working all things to bring about good. He loves you. He's a good father. He has all plans for you. He wants to bless you and to prosper you. Before I end this video, my father, I want to share this scenario with you. Sa hospital, tumatawag tayo sa doktor. O pumupunta tayo sa doktor for an advice on how to treat a patient. 
ikaw bilang isang pasyente. Anong ginagawa mo as you call the doctor? As a patient, you are not telling the doctor what to do. Hindi mo sinasabing, Dok, ganito. Dapat ganyan. Gusto ko ganito. Instead, ang ginagawa mo, naghihintay ka. You're waiting for the doctor to tell you what to do. My point is, the same with God. We just need to wait. We just need to wait and trust His timing. Because the longer it takes, that means the more God has stored for you. So don't stop praying and stay connected to the Lord. And if you are praying for your situation right now, I want you to know that God is working on your life right now. He heard all your prayers and is working in your situation. If what you're praying about isn't changing, then God is using that situation to change you. If it's not working out, then it is working out something on you. Just remember, hallelujah, that all things work together for our good.